Utopia. Today I'm going to show you how to make an ivy photo frame. So uh, what I have here is I have two knot lamps, as you can see, and I've got some other tools I got to show you here. I have, these are five foot pieces of PVC, a uh, half inch PVC, and then I've got one that's got a T connector on each side. And you can see that I've really taped it strongly together. And I've got one that has elbow connectors on each side. You see, and also very, very well taped, okay? Because there's gonna be a lot of pressure on it. Now, you may notice that I'm outdoors. And for that reason, in a minute, you'll see that I'm gonna put sand weights, donut shaped sand weights over these knot lamp bases because I would not trust these frames to any wind or torque or pressure at all. And so that's why if you're gonna use a knot lamp for outdoors, you wanna make sure that it's really well weighted. So I recommend some donut sand weights. All right, anyways. So, to start with, we just need to, now you can either do it like this, that you have this piece already made, and then, and then slide it over as one piece, or you could put the connectors and then pop it all together. Um, I reuse this piece over and over, so I don't take it apart every time. Okay, and you see that this is five feet. Now, you want to figure out the bottom of the frame, how low do you want it, right? Because if I put it right here, then no kids are getting in the picture. And only, you know, so, you, you know, you, you can decide, like, do you want it to be a full-size photo frame? In which case, maybe you'll put it down here. Do you want it to be a half-size? I think I want to put it right about here. I think this is a good place. Right about, right about mid-level, there. Okay. So now I've got clear packing tape. You could use gaffer's tape if you wanted. Okay, so I find that it's easier to do the bottom first. Um, and you always wanna kinda of go at an angle. If you just go straight, it will work itself out. So you wanna make sure that you're at an angle for more secure connection. Whew, I'm gonna fall. Okay, and you see I'm kinda like bringing it up and around and all over, and then I'm gonna go down a little bit farther. This will be covered by the balloons, so don't worry about, you know, how messy it is. And then you wanna come over here. Now this is the hard part, is making sure that it's straight, especially when you're putting it on something that's not straight. So, uh, sure, are we good? Is that straight? Appears to be. And we're gonna take the, be the bejeebies out of it really strong. Cause we don't want anybody who, you know, is like leaning on it or anything like that to be able to pull it apart. And then we're gonna do the top two. The bottom is really what's gonna hold it on though. And that's why we do that first. Same thing over here. Okay, now we're going to take the one here that's got the elbows, and I'm guessing that you can probably figure this out. And then this one also, we gotta like really tape very, very, very well. And As you can imagine, this one's a lot harder for me. So. Let's switch. So here we go, we got Shore, he's gonna do it for us. Go, yeah, go up and around and over the corner and and then get, no, but now you're going too much. Yeah, now go back to the stick. 
because there's going to be a ton of pressure there. A lot of pressure goes on that on those corner pieces. So you really want to have it over taped. Even I think uh, probably another piece of tape there. Because when you start putting the balloons on, it will put pressure there, a lot of pressure. And if you don't have it really well secured, it'll pop off. Okay, so here we have some garland. We've got five inch balloons that inflated to approximately four inches. And basically we're just gonna kind of put them on. And we'll come back here on the ends later to hide the mechanics. But right now, we're just kind of getting the basic framework. And so we're just gonna, you know, put these balloons. Wow, this color is popping so much. Basically just putting them on and you know, twisting them every so often. Now, because it is just a regular garland, we do have to make sure that, you know, unlike organic where we've got more leeway if it gets all funky, we don't have that leeway here. We gotta make sure that they're sitting where it belongs. Okay, and then where this is extra, I, I do want one extra quad hanging off here and that'll kind of like fade in later. And I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna tie it in to the quad behind it here. So I'm kind of tying it around the pole there. Okay, so you see that's kind of extending out there. And of course, always have plenty of extras because there will be repairs. We're gonna do the same thing on the tops and the sides. I don't need to, to show you the whole thing because it's basically the exact same thing. We'll come back when we're done before we start putting the ivy through it. Okay, so you see we got our donut sandbag. The wind kicked up, so we had to put them on already. Uh, again, you would not wanna do this outside without some donut sandbags. Otherwise, I would recommend making your own uh, base you know, that has like a good two by two footprint, okay? Then the lamp based footprints are just not enough. Now, one of the things that people ask me all the time is how do you do the corners? The corners, it doesn't go right, it's hard, it, you know, it doesn't make sense. So that's what I wanna show you. You see, you see this corner here, they don't quite meet up. And so what we're gonna do, we take a quad and I tied a little piece of 260 into it and basically you tie it onto that corner. I'm not tall enough to do this. So I'm gonna switch with Shore, who's got the camera, and he'll tie it on and we'll watch. So you tie it on to that corner, and then just kind of massage it in. Okay, and while he's getting that, we'll just come back and get a, a broader view. You see? Mm. 
these coral are, uh, they've been popping pretty crazy like. Anyhow, you get the idea. I'll come back when it's all done. Okay. And then to hide the bases and hide the mechanics, we've got some of the 11 inch balloons. It's 11 inch size to about eight inches. And so we're gonna just cover the, cover the poles here. It got a little dirty because the wind took it and it got away from us. I'm, I can't believe these corals. that kind of hides the mechanics lets the color and we'll put an extra quad of, of the smaller balloons here when we manicure it all together okay now we're gonna do this side okay so here we go we got the base of the frame all done now we're gonna start loading in our ivy and the ivy will also hide anywhere that there's gaps or anything so um, the ivy up here we're gonna want it hanging down a little bit um, but I'm just going to show you here. We're just going to kind of put it in and kind of weave it. keep doing that all throughout the whole piece and then I'll come back and show it to you so here you go this is the ivy photo frame I hope you like it show me your picture come to my Facebook group DIY balloon art beginning balloon professionals show me your pictures and uh, hit the like you know give me some love leave me a comment what else you want subscribe to my channel tell all your friends to subscribe and share it with everyone you know until next time go forth and balloonify